Hey, I'm Srini, the creator of Maximize Your App, but with Nev. Have you ever thought about how much time you could save if you didn't need to be checking your email all the time? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send, receive, and reply to emails all from within Mem. No more context switching, just your most important conversations in one place, letting you manage your most important emails right there in Mem. Now, let's get to the video. What we're going to go over in this video is how you can use Mem as a complete replacement for email. You can send emails from Mem, receive emails in Mem, and even reply to emails within Mem. So I've done demonstrations before on how to send emails from Mem and even use Mem as your replacement for email. But this is actually going to set this up in such a way where you can literally just send an email to somebody's inbox as if it was a regular email. So this first zap is actually really simple to set up. We're going to set up a couple of automations that automatically bring our email content into Mem. So this one is going to be for receiving emails. And so we've got this inbox here and we have a email here and we want to get the content of this email into Mem without having to do it manually every single time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a simple Zapier automation where we're going to basically connect our Gmail account and what we're looking for is new email in, in inbox. One of the things you want to be careful of here is not to choose inbox and all labels, but probably what you want to do is limit this to important or have some sort of filter because otherwise you will end up with a lot of junk and spam and everything else that's in your email and mem, which chances are you probably don't want all of that in mem. So I recommend using some sort of filter or label specifically for this purpose. So what we're going to do here is we're going to bring in an email that's important. So we're going to see what email that was. And so you can see here that now we have, you know, this email that we found in our inbox. So we're going to go ahead and have it sent over to Mem. So what we want to do first is we probably need to format this before we create a Mem just because of the fact that Gmail usually will send it to us as HTML and it will be a big mess. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a formatting step and we're going to convert the markdown or the HTML in Gmail into markdown. So that way it looks nice and clean in Mem. So you can see here that we have the body, the subject line, all this different stuff. We can use the subject line as the title of our mem, so that is not a big problem. The main thing that we want to be able to do is use the body HTML that is in the email, and we want to convert this to markdown, so that way it's nice and clean when it comes into mem. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and convert this to markdown, and you'll see here that now it comes in nice and clean. It stripped all the HTML formatting out. So that's our formatter step. Now what we want to do is we want to bring this content into mem, so the other thing we want to do is we need to make sure that we know what the subject line of the email was. So we can use the subject line of the email as the title of our mem. One thing I would recommend here is just depending on how you like to format your mems, I like to use a H2 tag so that that way, or H1 tag, so that way those are very clearly the things that uh, I can tell that are the titles of my notes or the subject line. So in this case, the other thing that we want to do here is we want to make sure that we bring in the right thing. What you don't want to do is pick the original email. You need to pick the output from the formatter step because that's what we just cleaned up. So now we've got our subject line. We have our mem. So let's go ahead and fix this really quick. We want that to be underneath, not in the top. So first, let's fix the formatting here. So we're going to make this our subject line. So this becomes the title of our note in mem. So it's easier to find. And then right underneath, we're going to put the text here. And for the sake of knowing who this email came from, the last thing you probably want to do is figure out who the person who sent it to you was. And so what you want is basically the recipient or the uh, sender's email address here. So once we do this, what we'll do is we will end up creating a simple email in Mem. And if we test this step right here, and we go over to our Mem account, we should see it right there on our home screen. And there it is. So we have the email and the content of the email along with the person who sent it to us. So that's the basic setup of how you receive emails in them. Activity, I've got just the thing. It's a free custom second brain plan that's tailored to your unique needs. This plan will help you manage your information more effectively and focus on what truly matters. It's a customized blueprint for building your second brain in MEM. To get your free plan, visit maximizeyouroutput.com slash custom.
It's a game changer for your productivity and I can't wait for you to try it out. Now let's get back to the video. Now let's actually go into how to reply to emails in Mem. Replying to emails from Mem is gonna be a bit more complicated because you have to do a bit of scripting, but you can actually have AI write most of that script. So what we're gonna do here, because of the fact that Mem only allows you to use Zapier to bring information into Mem, but not get it out, we're gonna use a workaround and that is something called email by Zapier. But first what we wanna do is we wanna put the content of our reply here. So let's go ahead and just format this a little bit. And so what we need to do here is we're gonna share this mem and this part is going to end up being our reply. So when we set this up in Zapier, what we're gonna do is use email by Zapier as our trigger. And you can see here that I use the email address reply from mem. And what we're going to do is we're going to share our reply to that email address as a shared mem. So what you'll see here is when we put that there, that goes in just like you would share any other mem. We're going to share it to email by Zapier. Whereas if I had shared it directly with the person I wanted to reply to, it won't necessarily show up in their inbox as a reply to their email. It will show up as this person has shared a mem with you, but this allows you to reply directly to their email as you would any regular emails. First, we need to go ahead and share this. So let's go ahead and share that. And then we have to go in and we have to set up our Zap because one of the things that will happen, as you'll see, is that once this has been shared, it's going to add formatting because of the fact that it shows up as a mem having been shared. So the first thing that we have to do when we want to be able to reply to emails from mem is set up a Zap like we did for the one that allows us to receive emails in Mem, but this one is going to be a little bit more complicated because it requires a bit of formatting. So just as we did, as we talked about, we shared a email to our email by Zapier email address, which you'll see here. And you can see here our triggers reply to emails. So basically what this does is act as an inbox, allowing us to share emails. What you'll see here is you will get a couple of different records and you wanna make sure you have the right one for everything that you need. So you can see here, one of the problems that we have is that automatically it's not gonna show up as a email or the subject line of the email because it has this, which is mem shared with you. So what we need to do there is we put in a formatter step that allows us to remove mem shared with you. So that way, when we are searching for that email inside of Gmail, we then can search by the subject line. So what you'll end up with is this. The other thing that we need to do in order to run the script that's gonna strip out all the irrelevant information and leave us with only the content of an email is to convert the HTML that came from step one in the new inbound email. So now that we have our subject line, the next thing we need to do is we need another formatter step. And in this step, what we're gonna do is we're just going to take the HTML from step one and convert it into Markdown. So that way it gives us a text that is a lot easier for a script to process. So you can see here, we have not only the original email that was sent to me, but the response that I have as well. And so what we wanna do from this is we wanna get rid of all this other irrelevant stuff and only extract the reply. And the way that we're gonna do that is we are going to use a simple piece of code and you can have Memchat do this. This is a matter of personal preference, but one thing that's very important here is to make sure that you actually format the note that has the reply in it properly. So you'll notice when you look at the email that we're using here, there's a line break here, and that's critically important. You also wanna make sure that you keep this as a header because those things are what make the script run. So once you do that, what you end up with basically is a bit of code here, and I will actually include the code inside the YouTube video description with a text file where you can just download this from Dropbox, and then you run a test, and what you end up with is the reply content. So you can see here that it's stripped out everything else other than the content of my reply. Now, what we need to do is we actually need to find the email that we want to reply to inside of Gmail. So the first thing we have to do here is search for that email and you want to make sure that you connect it to the right account. So what we're going to do here is we are going to connect it to our account here. That was the Gmail account that we used. And the action that we're going to do is we're actually going to search for this. And this is actually why we did what we did in step two is to basically find this subject line. So that way it knows how to find that email. So we've given it something to go by. So let's go ahead and test this and it should actually find our inbox and there it is right there. So this is what's going to allow us to reply to that specific email. So now that we have this, what we're gonna do is we're actually going to send a reply 
to that email. And here you can basically choose your action and you have a couple of different options. You can eat, so what we're gonna say here is we're actually gonna put reply to an email. And we're gonna choose the same, change the account here to make sure that we have the right account. So in this case, it's our demo account. And what we need to do is we're going to use the email ID that we had before. So you can add a search step, but that's actually what we did here before. What we're gonna do is we're going to use custom and we're gonna basically say, okay, let's find this. Because every email in Gmail has a unique identifier that allows us to determine what email that is. And then what we're gonna do is we will reply back to that person. In this case, we're just gonna be replying to ourselves, which sounds a little bit silly, but let's go ahead and grab our email address from our account so that way we can see it show up in there. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to send this reply to ourselves. So you wanna make sure you have the right reply to address in there as well. And in this case, we don't necessarily need that just because of the fact that we're actually going to be replying to an email that already has an email address. And so this is all, like I said, a bit silly just because of the fact that we're replying to ourselves. And you can specify a single address other than your own. And in the case of the body type, what we're going to do is we're just going to use plain text. And what this will allow us to do is take our output from the JavaScript step. And that will then become the content of that email. And so what we'll end up doing is we're going to find this email with this ID. And we're going to send it to this same address. And once we do, that person will basically get a reply to that email that they sent us directly from within MEM. And that, in a nutshell, is more or less how this is set up in MEM. So let's do one last thing. Let's actually go look and make sure that email showed up in the inbox. And then we will move on to sending emails from MEM. And now you can see right here, this is the original email that was sent. And this is our reply that we sent. All we had to do was write a reply within MEM add a line under it and share it to email by Zapier. And we're able to reply to emails directly from within MEM. So now we're going to go into the final step of our setup to basically have MEM act as our email client. So there are a couple of things that are really important here. And I've done a demonstration on this before in a previous tutorial about how to send emails from MEM. In this demonstration, we're talking about how to basically put all of these together to effectively use MEM as your email client. So you'll see here, that the first thing that's really important is that you have a header as your subject line that will serve as our subject line. And then the other thing that is critically important, and it all depends on how you phrase this, but I use recipient email address because the structure of this, again, is going to determine the effectiveness of the script that we have in our automation. So just as we did before, we're going to use the same trigger where we share an email to email by Zapier. So I've already done that here. So you'll see here that we have our trigger step. And then what we want to do again is we want to remove the mem shared with you subject line. So that way we use this as our subject line instead of the mem shared with you thing. So that way it shows up as a regular email in somebody's inbox. Finally, what we need to do is we have to take the text and reformat it from markdown to from HTML to markdown. And then what we're going to do is we are going to run some code that basically takes all of the stuff from before and strips out all the unnecessary shared with mem formatting. So what you end up with is then you have your content here and you have the email address of the person that you want to send your email to. So in this case, we had a little bit of an error because it added this asterisk. So we'll fix that in the code that we send over to you. And from there, what we can do is we're just gonna take this email address. In this case, we'll copy and paste it. But normally what will happen is you will be able to then say, send email. So we'll go to Gmail as our app. And then what we can do is we can just say, send an email. And in this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to use, let's say for example, that I'm going to send this from Screen at Unmistakable Media. And my recipient is going to be the email address that we got from our JavaScript content right here. So you can see here, as I mentioned to you, we wanna remove the asterisks. So we could add a formatter step in if we needed to here, but we'll fix the script so that the version that you see doesn't have that issue. So in this case, I'm just going to copy and paste that email address. And then I can say that this is from me and I can just use Srini at Unmistakable Media as the from email address. And we'll just put Srini Rao here so that it shows up in the inbox as being from somebody. 
And then what we'll do is we will use our subject line here, which will become the subject line of our email. And in this case, we'll use body plane and we will take the output from our JavaScript step, which will be the content of our email. And then we're just going to send an email. And now that we look in our inbox, there it is, the email that we received from Stringy Route via the Zapier automation. And we basically sent an email to somebody from them and it shows up as a regular email in their inbox. So let's recap everything that we've gone over here. So the first thing we did was we set up a Zap to receive emails in Mem, super simple. We basically use an email that says new email in our Gmail inbox and we create a Mem from it. Then what we did was we set up a Zapier automation to reply to emails using a couple of different automations. We had to basically write some code in order to strip all of that. And even when you're applying to emails, again, the formatting is really important. So if we go back and we look, you'll see here that we have this line here below. So that is critically important because if you don't do that, then the script won't actually work. And then finally, we set up our Zap that did the same exact thing as we did before for replying to emails, but this time we actually used it for sending emails directly from them. So in a nutshell, this is basically what you have set up. So you have you know, the ability to receive all emails in Mem. You can reply to those emails from within Mem if you set up a Zapier automation. And then finally, you can actually send emails in Mem. And again, when you're sending emails from Mem, the structure of those emails is very important. So you want to make sure that you have you know, your he header as your subject line, and then make sure that you include the recipient email address in this exact format. And I'll include all of the different scripts that you've seen and how they work together. So that way you don't have to write them from scratch. Um, but experiment with this. You might have to tweak it a little bit. And that's where MemChat comes in to be able to help you debug any of this code. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below.